We're hot. We're all about one night stands. We're all about that passionate, oh. sweaty ECW one night stand 2006. How's everyone doing? We're here. It's one night stand, and we're gonna get extreme. Are we? Was that really an extreme showing? We just, oh yeah, uh, some we just, of it was. We just had that head to head like what two episodes ago? That was pretty crazy. Yeah, that was good. And then Martin hit the dodge button on that. He was like, "Oh, oh, I'm not hitting that. No, this get away is from me." The last bit of ECW content I am ever watching. Wow, dude. Also, L, L, also, L take L. Yeah. The P, well, no, W. Also, the P, listen, <laughs> WWECW, I'm getting the visions. I think it's going to suck ass. Also, the logo for One Night Stand 06 on Peacock is Jacob Goodnight. It's yeah. true. It is Jacob Goodnight. It's crazy. I don't it understand is. why. He and swirled he out of his mind. In the episode. I mean, this ep- he this was be. rated TVMA. It should have had Jacob Goodnight's hog in it. It would have been better than some of the matches on this thing. At the Bro. ECW one night stand, straight up jorking it. Do straight not, it, I mean, do not take Beulah McGillagutty to the Jacob Goodnight Hotel. Goodness, <laughs> no, please keep her out of there, please. Oh, the hotel. I, we got the full cash. boys here. We're hot. We're in, uh, like what? We're not in Raw Down. We're not in Smack Up. We're in extremely we're in sideways. In we're we're in a secret third thing. We got Emerald. We're in the lands between. We got hello. We got Chuck Nico. Huh? Huh? We got Joe. <laughs> Waza. And we got Pete. Yellow. And we got Martin. Main event Marty. He's back. Finally. How's it going, dude? This shit sucks. I'm sorry. Fuck ECW. <laughs> Why? Raw bad. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. He meant like fuck, fuck ECW, like ECW Fox. Oh, yes, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. We're in the That's Hammerstein ballroom. Stand, dude. Nobody in this crowd or on this show has had sex except for Edge. Yeah. yeah, you know. Oh. Yeah, he did. Well, it's Mommy. confirmed that Mick Foley well, has at, at least one child. So. John oh. Cena has definitely right. had never had sex. Well, I mean, they do nope. call Mick true. Foley a whore, to be fair. I think they. As had... we've established long ago, I've come around to the idea he's an incel. Yep. It's true. This crowd looks disgusting. Yeah, it's it is disgusting. <laughs> These are mutants, dude. <laughs> <laughs> These are literally mutants from, like, if you guys, you know, like, the Dark Knight Returns? This is, like, yeah. that gang in it. This is them. Oh, oh, oh yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. The crustiest white boys you know are in the house. And they're ready to, like, say slurs for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is bad. Dude, I can't believe they started off with uh, Taz. They said that boy needs to get to bed. So they need to get him out <laughs> first and then he proceeds to talk the whole show anyway yeah yeah <laughs> but wait we have paul Heyman come out first we don't start with oh that, my bad i'm know? sorry my bad paul, dude. paul Heyman comes out and delivers that and a, 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 a stirring speech with the energy of a communist dictator it's really really tight which one he, um if i had to if, if you had to gun to my head i gotta say somebody it's probably like uh like castro you know yeah, He's I giving, agree. He talks about his swinging schlong a lot, which is definitely Castro coded. Absolutely. Yep, yep. They have pigs. True. <laughs> so yeah, what Boo. he said. Fuck the Bay of pigs. Nico, what do you think? I mean, Chuck. Dude, Castro, that man got so much tail. What an yeah. incredible man. God, I agree. Typical for a communist. Uh, you ever seen Paul Heyman's Twitter? No. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> I you have. Know he, you know he crushes. You know they all crush. It's too bad they took, the, potato head. they took the likes tab from us because uh, I know those are radioactive now. How can how can one bald Jewish man have so much riz? I don't know, man. What he swagged up stupid style. He's got the leather trench coat. He confirms the ECW will be on the Sci Fi Network oh, right after no. Warehouse 13. He sounds like if Manny could that? talk. No. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Run that run that again. Warehouse 13. He, he that was sounds a show, like that was a show if that... could talk. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah, you're right. I see it. I see the vision. There's, there. some, there's, some, there's something crazy about that statement. I don't know what yet, but I'll get back to you. 
Warehouse 13 retrospective coming on. You don't Joe, I got a problem with that. It didn't start for another three years, dog. <laughs> yeah, well. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it, it, sh- it was on right bo- right after Krypton, the famous sci-fi show. Let me whack a little bit. No, dude, you're done. You're done, dude. Not until, not until we uh, talk about Smack Up stuff. But then we get the cool-ass ECW intro, the classic song that just sounds like a, a porn theme. Let the bodies hit the floor. Was that on the network? Yeah, yeah, it was. Okay. I mean, Peacock? It was, it was on the peak, bro. Mm-hmm. Peacock had the the like WWE Network version, unabashed, unedited, just went TVMA Uncensored. with the fucking dog shit intro with the bad music. And then, no, the and music is have, awesome. The yeah, purple the lightning tight. is sweet. I'm sorry. <laughs> even <laughs> even wrong. even if you rewatch it, you even get that that w- the one time Lance Storm was on the show, yep. hitting a Shawn Michaels pose. That was crazy. Oh my. Maybe maybe Lance yeah. Storm will come back. Probably not. Maybe we'll get Justin Credible again. After after the um the the old theme plays, you get a, a preview of the new theme, which is "Let the Bodies Hit the Floor." As it, it plays through the crowd. Oh, they can afford that. Yep, they own that one. Surprisingly, that's the, that's the theme going forward, actually. Yeah, because Paul Heyman couldn't afford anything else in ECW, so they had to get this one. Well, it's I all mean, being mortgaged now. by uh, by Daddy Warbucks, of yeah. course. But of course, you know how it goes. Paul Joyce- Heyman, as Fidel Castro, essentially made a deal with the United States and said, "Yeah, all right." Yeah. Okay. Speaking of which, uh, Fidel Castro didn't help us on this one because Joey Styles is left alone on commentary. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, well, they're lucky they have anybody on commentary. Very let's true. Be very true. Now we I have mean, to. Didn't Joey Styles always commentate alone anyway? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that normal? Yeah, dude. You could say it's a heat. Yeah, but Emerald doesn't know that. He doesn't know the lore of EC Dub. That's all right. No, he does. Joey said it on television on the Raw program. Oh yeah, he's yeah. Like, I do this alone, by myself. I hate you, Coach. Coach is like, ah, in a pit with snakes. I hate that the Joey Styles pipe bomb made me sympathize him for just a little bit. Just a little bit. A yeah. little bit. And then we heard him talk again. Right? Like, ah, ooh. Yeah. Ah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, dude. He's like, wow, <laughs> yeah, Mike Awesome. That guy up. should kill himself. He did say that, and he did. Joey Styles led to the suicide. Maybe you know you ever think that Joey Styles has some some demonic forces that are at hand, allowing him to cast curses on people. Absolutely. Maybe we should be careful. Hell Joey yeah, Styles p- played suicide in TNA. We'll oh. never watch TNA. But... We'll never watch it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. We'll never do it, dude. We'll never do it. I swear. I swear on me, mom. But yeah, we got Joey Styles, all these deranged lunatics, lots of hostility. This is not a safe work environment. No, the crowd is no, not a cool it. work environment. <laughs> usually when you get a hot crowd and like molten hot like just chants, usually they're like, "Oh, wow, this is awesome." But then you hear shit that are slurs or like Dude, swears I was so and... tired of the crowd chants by was, the, the yeah. second segment. Like honestly, I was like, "This is this is enough." I'm tired of these guys. They want to go over so bad. Yeah, because but... because the whole thing it is all it, this is a one sided arena. Like the announcers are ECW. These all these fans are all ECW. All they care about are everyone that moved into ECW. It's like it's so well. If you don't if you don't know the history. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and assume you don't right now. No, I don't know shit. So it, it, e, ECW wasn't Extreme Championship Wrestling. It was Eastern Championship Wrestling. And it used uh. to be the East Coast like wrestling uh, organization, right? Back okay, the East Side. Existed. Yeah, East so, Side, East Side. <laughs> so all these people that would come to these shows basically were going like every week to, to file into this specific hall, which is why this arena looks like absolute shit garbage. <laughs> It's a nostalgia thing, right? Uh. And so they would be there every week, like very committed to this bit of like, let's go ECW. And then when they went extreme, they all the crowd also went extreme. You know, they followed oh. suit with it. They love oh, death matches. God. Like it's, we watched... it'd just be this would be the equivalent of being like, why are why are all these fucking Romans in the Coliseum chanting everything, all this crazy shit? I've never seen the Coliseum before, right? <laughs> this is. Yep, yep. 
this is people thirsting for blood and this is the first time they've gotten to do it in like a year it, <laughs> well we'll say a year but like in actuality it's probably like wait, it's like seven years since the dissolution of ECW I think five at this point yeah because 2006 oh, yeah. yeah 2001 was the last okay. pay-per-view yeah there you go but yeah, it's generally that they're just very they're very fanatical because they feel ownership of it because this is their hometown uh show basically yeah, yeah all the boys are hometown heroes yep. disgusting yep. it's very true because now we got taz which is fine he's not disgusting he's got the bald head he's got the towel, the towel. He's got the yeah, orange Taz is cool as fuck he always was dude yeah dude yeah pete go over this match real quick you know this really long match yep yeah, this this match was an absolutely seven star tokyo dome banger it took two hours to get through. It was pretty much the bulk of the show. Everything else got pushed off. Um, starts out with King Cut like making his his appearance at the um, at the fucking the the entrance right there, and he's just kind of standing and posing like an action figure in like an annoying kind of way. I'm just looking at this, and there's just such a strong dissonance in this image. It's great, you know, like the, it's it's really high artistry you know this is a renaissance painting of of a moment where you have this absolute freak wearing spandex and a crown standing in front of a bunch of degenerates who just want to see him get murdered it, it's it's really peak and then he goes over and just smacks the fuck out of joey styles and then walks into the ring <laughs> that was probably the best it, thing the king has ever done in his career it, it was pretty tight i'm not gonna lie yeah he slapped that white boy <laughs> the, the crowd liked them for it too. They yeah, they were like, you know what? For for a moment there, they were on King's side. They said, "Fuck Joey Styles, <laughs> let him fucking kill him right now." Very good side to be on. But Joey Joey's revenge comes quick when uh, Taz gets to the ring and and, uh, and what what's it? Yeah, um, Joey does a sneak attack. He pulls a little sneaky on King, starts choking him out, and then King quickly dispatches it. But then. Taz just immediately puts him in the Taz mission. They fall to the ground. He writhes around for a little while and just passes out as the referee pulls his hand up, drops it once, no response, drops it twice, no response, drops it three times, no response. And the the pedophile has officially been dealt with. Yes. yes. Finally. Yes. Can we have the raw heads yes. get a little get a little insight on the raw guy getting killed in 30 seconds? Ha ha. Okay, fair enough. I mean, I wish Jr. was here to see it. But like, uh, look, look, fight look, him, look, King! Look, fight him, look, King! Look, King, you gotta get out of there, King! King! Look at the King! I don't look at the tap king. out! He got fucking choked out by King. Don't tap out! Oh, oh what the hell? That nigga, old boy, got that choke on Taz. He's like this bullshit. <laughs> Buy my barbecue. Buy my barbecue, please. Oh, please. he would have been like, well, I guess I'm, I guess I'm by myself next week. <laughs> He killed him. That's that would it. probably be a welcome addition <laughs> to Raw, I think. He's dead. Solo, solo JR would be tight. The crowd in this in this time and place. The crowd went yeah. absolutely insane for Taz killing Lawler too. It was it was nuts. To, it's a, it's it's really just like a spectacle to see, like how hot Beat. these guys are. But it gets tiring well, soon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it was it was their first. It was the first match. So they were really hoping for like a first win. So they got their first win, and it was a fast one. So mm-hmm. it was just uh, uh, a lighting of the gasoline. This was just the this was the opening event of the Olympic ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. And then the uh, the uh, the events can. are going to happen now. So it's just get ready. Ready. I thought it was yeah. awesome to start off with that because then we got the hot opener going right into the clips from the ECW oh, sure. WWE show where they announced that as Martin was not on the last show, that Big Show defected the ECW. How do you feel? Big yeah, Show's I'm ECW. <laughs> this is a horrible idea and it bodes <laughs> terribly for their vision of this company. Come on, dude. What do you mean? He's ECW to the bones. Yes. Definitely been an ECW guy, Big Show. I'm really giving hot takes here by saying this is probably a mistake. However, it means I don't have to deal with him anymore, so I'm all about it. I'll uh, I'll go over to it uh, really briefly, just to, just to recap it for Martin, that they decided to have a, uh, a Raw and SmackDown 
and ECW Battle Royal, where they had five Raw, five SmackDown, and ten ECW guys. And whoever wins, wins for that team, not individually. So, Big Show and what was it? Who else was in there? Randy Orton? I think it was. So, basically the last three, yeah. it was Big Show and Randy Orton repre- wearing Raw shirts, but the Raw and SmackDown wrestlers were representing WWE as a conglomerate. Yeah, it wasn't like... Yeah. Um, so Randy Orton eliminates Kurt Angle from the Battle Royale, the and the bell, bell is rung, <laughs> um, but no announcement is made until Big Show rips off his sweaty Raw shirt to reveal an even sweatier ECW tank top, and then he gives Randy Orton a disgusting choke slam and then throws him out of the ring, and then the bell rings once again, where Lillian Garcia announces that Team ECW has it's actually so won stupid. the match, and then Kurt Angle and Big Show kiss immensely it was very weird man Kurt angle like locks his legs around big show yeah, oh, they, they yeah. embrace could... in a passionate moment they could only could happen big between show two extreme fellows i'm sorry he defected yes. he hates emerald e- <laughs> I, I only have so many people i like to talk about two leaders are guys that were never in ecw yes great job everyone yes Included one guy that got so offended by the Sandman being crucified, he said he'd never be an ECW. Welcome to ECW. Well, I mean, to be fair, it's not real ECW. You're entering the extreme era. We got... Doesn't matter. Taz Taz said, I'm done killing people today. I'm done killing pedophiles. I'm on commentary. Hey, Joey, what's up? And Joey's like, thank you so much, Taz! Thank you so much! Mwah! Mwah! I love you, Taz! Taz's like, all right, all right, get off me! We never done commentary before, <laughs> and then like the whole time they just kept saying, "Remember when this happened?" All night. It was a uh, it was a real walk down memory lane for these two. Next, we get um, another Raw versus ECW spectacular, as we got Randy Orton from Raw. You know, big Raw guy Randy Orton. Huge, yeah, huge, huge Raw guy. Member of Raw has always been part of Raw. Randy Orton. <laughs> <laughs> And we got uh, Kurt Angle with this shitty remixed music, which is hilarious as it just starts the the theme song five times. No, that's a, this is the good one. It's so bad, and then it just no, sort of starts the in the one. middle. The people were insanely uh, for Kurt Angle, which I get, yeah. but he's not he's ECW. He's Kurt Angle's not. Awesome. No, yeah, but, but he's crazy matter. as if he was one of them. The whole. He's so- if there's okay. one person that I would trust in the gladiator pits, it's Kurt Angle. And that's exactly where he's at right now. This match was very good up until the point where they decided to have a 20-minute match. And Randy Orton was not into it because the crowd kept chanting that you can't wrestle. So Randy was like, okay, I guess I'll play some heelish stuff. And so he would put him in the rest hold. And the crowd would just fucking just yell at him. Call him a little bitch. Call him a this, pussy. This- the whole time. I gotta oh my God. I'm sorry. There's there's one thing I gotta say about Randy Orton in this match. Did you guys notice his cock was moving around very penisly? <laughs> yeah. Bro, Explain. I like that, like nice. his pants. Something was going on, bro. You could see that thing swinging. Yeah, his sh- his shit was pigeon dog. I feel yeah. you. Turns like, out the viper has a nice snake. Does he have a humiliation Dude. kink? The I fuck know, up, man. Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Not letting you get away with this. <laughs> what, bro? I'm just complimenting another bro, bro. Yeah, Chuck may have a point, man. I like this guy. Angle. Kurt Angle uh, presented his his thick and callousy, uh, we'll say neck, multiple mm-hmm. times to Randy Orton. He very he he opened himself up for Randy to take advantage uh, of his uh, his members, mm-hmm. uh, and his Randy just managed, could yeah. not sink in a hold. On his yep. meat. Now, twenty-five patrons and Chuck will do a monthly cock rating to your list. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah! We'll give you him have a to theme. send him in though. DMs. Wow. Hey, <laughs> yes. Chuck is an equal opportunist. All genitalia. I'll rate it all. Because the shit. If you got, if you got a big labia majora, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. let Chuck know. Yeah. First episode. Oh, yeah. We will not be censored. First episode is our cock. This is extreme. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, is it is, it's the extreme. Yeah, all of our cocks will be on the Patreon. Thirty-five dollars a month tier. Yep. 
It's yep. time. You'll, 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 get, you'll get monthly cock updates too. You get <laughs> you get you get a bonus if you can guess whose cock belongs to who. This is yeah. true. Joe had a garage full of cock at one point. Shit was crazy. You wouldn't believe it, dude. That's that that's what all those that's what all my uh, garage fridges are for. Let me tell you, bro, you'll see so much cock, it'll be cockception. Yeah, I would <laughs> <laughs> boo, 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 you boo, can't boo, wrestle. Boo. You can't wrestle. Pussy, pussy. Why, would you me, why would you tell me to say that? Ah. I, I guess I got to get on the cockpit. Uh, uh, horse cock. You got it. <laughs> oh, in one? Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Right. Hey, can it. can someone tell me what what's wrong with Kurt Angle? <laughs> what do you mean? I need to know to what you mean. On he's, that. he's got a look in his eye. Like he he was really going for Randy Orton's <laughs> ankles. Like he wanted because, he wanted those things broken. He wanted because, to suck the marrow out of his hey, bones. Hey Emerald. He's a fucking fighter, yeah. dude. Do you know this the soundboard? That's Kurt Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. hey, That's what Emerald? he's about. Yeah. I want you to Google Perk 30s for me and get back to me. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> also, why why does why does um Kurt Angle wear a mouth guard? Like I'm he's the only one I've seen do that. You don't want he, his teeth knocked he out. Actual. Like, Has anyone had their teeth knocked out? Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. One Severely. time there was another uh, crazy strong bald person who mm -hmm. wasn't wearing a mouth guard, and then he got thrown into the, like, corner post. Bro, he uh, ate the and, turtle, and, and like knocked out American all History four X. of his front teeth. And, oh. so, so now he wears a mouth guard. <laughs> but, oh. Kurt, but Kurt Angle's, like, an actual traditional, like, like Greco-Roman, like, Olympic wrestler. Yeah, you know he's a gold like, medal, right? The, the gold medal he, he brings guard. out, you know, it's like... It's real. The, the, it's real. He, he was in the Olympics. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm sure I've told the story... I don't know. If not, it's available online anyway. Kurt Angle, the broken neck bit is real, and he did it by choosing to land on his neck instead of his back so he wouldn't lose points. And then they told him that he probably shouldn't wrestle again, and he said, nah. And then he did it yep. anyway and won the gold medal. <laughs> yep. He's he's nuts, but we yep. love him. But this actual match... This actual match... I mean, it's very long. It's a very a lot of rest holds because Orton could not keep up with Angle's fucking grappling style. It, <laughs> yeah, it, it was a lot of holds. Okay, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I don't know if that's fair. Every single Randy Orton match has a million rest holds. It's true. That's not a <laughs> him and Kurt thing. I think yeah, this is just, a. I think this is Randy Orton being juiced up too much and not knowing how to handle himself. Yeah. Um, this is every Randy match I've ever seen. Yeah, pretty much. It just went way too long. No, because he's had some good ones with Benoit early in the year. Like, Benoit and him were having great chemistry. Well, okay, yeah, listen. Yeah, Benoit can do it. Yeah, he had he... a great <laughs> match with Benoit. Cool, so could I. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> yeah. The commentary team was, was dropping some gynecologist jokes on this one. I don't oh, know why. Oh, God. I don't know how we got there. Uh, no chance yeah, we're, we're going crazy. Gynecologist. Uh, we we had an Orton swallows chant at one point. Mm -hmm. Let mm. Chuck cook. I can go through the ending real quick. Yeah, he got us up... about. Oh. Tell us about gynecologist Chuck. Oh no. Whoa, man, gynecologist man, they're awesome. Best job in the world. You know they do men too. All yeah. right. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes a man needs his pussy checked out. It's yeah. okay. True. It's true. It's true. Gotta prevent but, them uh, cancers. Look, Angle, I'm just saying, I wish uh, I had that job. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do, Chuck. Yeah, Chuck, oh, dude. You gotta just start talking. Ang <laughs> Angle will hit. Angle went a little extra stanky on that Angle slam, but only got two points on that. He did not get three, and Angle's sweating uncharacteristically a lot, and he just gets starts fucking angry. He's sweating. He goes, "Fuck you, Orin." Orin goes up the top rope, hits a cross body for whatever reason. That shit got me popped. Did nothing to Angle because he does not care. Angle then uh, just grabbed fucking Orin's leg and said, "You little bitch," and made him tap out. There was a, yeah. there was a really crispy Orin. There was a really crispy Orin drop kick in this match. Yes, that, that was like wow. That was that was worth waiting for, I guess. This went fifteen oh eight. It's not even the longest match on the show, but it felt long. 
Yeah, this, this is a little underwhelming, I'd say, overall. Doesn't really like this could have just happened on a SmackDown or a Raw and it would have been fine. I don't know what happened to Randy in this match because all right, so Kurt got like a huge pop after winning. He was so over with the crowd, and then Randy's like, "My back hurts. I cannot move." And then the commentary keeps calling him a pussy and that he's a baby and that they would never ever get injured in a match. That's not the ECW way. And Randy's like, "Get somebody to help me! Get somebody to help me, please!" And then they had he had to be like carried off to the back, but it wasn't his ankle. Because he was walking, yeah. so I don't, I don't understand the bit. And then the crowd is calling him a pussy again. Yep. They they they're so clever. And uh, uh, this crowd is is known for its uh for its for its good names and just as well as Randy Orton is known for uh, phoning it in when he didn't feel like doing it. So yep. Yeah, it was it was something. I mean, <laughs> good match though. Good match, but again, way Clearly... too long. Clearly, Kurt Angle did not threaten Randy Orton enough before getting into this match. If he would have came at him like he came at The Undertaker a couple months ago, mm-hmm. it would have been a different story here. But So, now we finally got some Smack Up action. Because we got oh. uh, two Smack Up boys. We got the FBI and Super Crazy. And Tajiri's back, boys. Tajiri! He's here. Right. This shit was so tight. I, I don't know how I felt about it. I didn't uh, like it. Me and Chuck watched uh, it, and we were like... Damn. I really enjoyed this match in, until the end. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I really thought this was a fun match until until we got to, like, the last minute. <laughs> Chuck, lead this bad boy. I want you to tell me about Tony Mama Luke. I want you to tell me about Little Guido. I want you to tell me about Big Guido. Uh, to put it mildly, uh huh. small, 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 and fat. Okay, which and- one's which? Uh, everybody is small, super crazy is fat, oh. and Big Guido's just big. Which means he was the best man in the match. I mean, I can't say I liked it. They did a bunch of moves, but I don't know. I feel <laughs> nothing. I've watched this match twice. Twice to think of something. Uh, I thought Tajiri looked good. Uh, he always does. And, you know, it's nice to see, uh, Nunzio, who's little Greedo in this match, like actually do stuff. He gets to show right. off the graps, bro. Yeah, because if you watch Smack, if you watch Smack Up, which is the only way to enjoy O Six SmackDown, uh, he he's kind of in a weird ass feud that I think's awesome, but some people aren't a fan of. <laughs> you know, they do some cool flips and stuff. Uh, there's that uh, really cool tarantula move they do. Yeah. Which they locked him up in the uh, ropes. That's pretty awesome. I mean, despite being overweight, Super Crazy does some crazy flips. Super Crazy <laughs> does amazing despite his size. I don't think he's yeah. overweight. I think he's overweight. I think the, he, he's, he, he's a little, he's big bellied right now. The biggest he's disappointment little, about this match. He's super heavy crazy right now. Tony okay. Mamaluke. <laughs> that dude oh, looked yeah. like he's not wrestled in like 10 years since ECW yeah. folded. This is his first match back. Yeah. Tony Tony Mamaluke put a uh, super heavy crazy in a cattle <laughs> mutilation hammer lock submission. I didn't know Tony Mamaluke had it in him like that. I'll say that you, you know I really got to back it up here while we're on the topic of Tony Mamaluke. In the beginning of the match, Taz goes, "Yeah, I don't really know what to think about all these like Italians." Oh, that's he, right. He, he he's thinking he's trying to like, come up with like a slur or something to call the Italian people. For some reason, like, it, it's super odd in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, and then he goes, I don't have a joke for the Mexicans either. Yeah. I don't. I can't really think of anything. And then Ty, later... Ty really trying to prep up some racism on there, but he just couldn't get it out. And then uh, Joey Styles goes, or I don't know which one's which. I think it might have been. Yeah, no, Joey Styles goes, he's putting marinara all over those potatoes. Yeah. And then he goes, you don't put marinara on potatoes, Taz. I'm like, what the yeah, fuck are they was, talking about? It was very weird. Joey Styles right came in clutch with the meatball talk. <laughs> I gotta say, like, Joey Styles kind of had it on this one. Yeah. He's talking so much shit, and a lot of it doesn't make sense. 
and it's like not even mildly offensive it's just like a strange attempt at racism so it's like mostly okay you yeah. would have thought ll cool j was out here the way he did it to those meatballs joey Jesus Christ. joey styles said uh in ecw they wouldn't put mexicans on lawnmowers mm. I'm, I'm trying to think if they uh, had any, true? I, I don't think so i don't know well, I don't. I don't think uh, Paul Heyman could afford a lease on a lawnmower at that point. I think that there's there's a couple of interesting shots in this match in terms of like how the, the commentary just talks shit about WWE. Mm -hmm. At one point, Taz literally points out and says, "Wow, these guys are wrestling way better and way different than they do on the regular show." Come on, As, like like pointing out that they're not just jobbers. Like these guys are actually good. We promise. He was pretty heavy-handed uh, when the Tajiri and little Guido, as he's referred to here, mm -hmm. uh, get tagged into the ring. Like, yeah, you know, little Guido. You know, they they call him Nunzio over there, but you know, this is little Guido. You know, he can go. You know, he's a what? he's a real submission Jones over here. Which yep. I digress. I mean, fucking Taz. I mean, he had it right there for the Italian fucking slows. Just call him Guido. Nunzio is like killing it with the chain grappling in that sequence too. Well, they can't call him, him Guido, dude. In the ring. No, because there's big Guido. Yeah, you just call no. him a bunch of Guidos. And oh, you don't, you don't know which yeah. one he is. I, yeah, I didn't yeah. want to bring it up, but isn't like Guido a slur for Italians? It can yeah, be, but yeah. since you can't be racist towards Italians, then the, no, <laughs> the slurs aren't real. Listen, man. Yeah. Wow. Listen, man. They would never. Uh, listen, ECW would never put a mexican on a lawnmower they'll just call someone a guido as their main name they will never say yep. anything bad never also I, the I, they're not gonna make you humiliate yourself for a check they're but, gonna make you kill yourself mm. yeah but you know as i was saying i mean this, this is kind of more of a spot match i mean like i said this cool stuff like uh little guido goes for like uh that missile drop kick when he the uh, I think Tony Mamaluk got the other guy in the submission. I think it was super crazy. Yeah, I think so. You know, there's some other stuff too. Like, uh, there was like, a, ah, see, that's a problem. Chuck isn't used to these kind of smaller guys in the ring. They're but, they're not big and sweaty enough. They're not strong no, enough. No, no, no. But you know, like I said, if you like these kind of matches, it's fine, I guess. You know, I mean, FBI gets the win, and that's good. You know, I thought they looked like the better team. I like Tajiri, but not, not who, a big super crazy guy. Who is uh, FBI? Uh, who, who, whose side were they on? I, I missed who, okay. who was on whose side. Little, uh, so FBI uh, is the full-blooded Italians. Yep. Uh, they're the, they're the those are the Italian guys, guys which was uh, Lil Guido, which was the guy in the tights, and then Tony Mamaluke, which was the guy in the black pants, and then uh, Big Guido, which was the guy wearing the FBI shirt. He was they are the, the yes. Italian representation. They are ECW, and and Super oh, Crazy okay. and Tajiri are Smack. Okay, so here's the problem with oh, that. Down. Super Crazy yeah. and uh, Little Guido are SmackDown. Tajiri technically is just was EC these guys were all ECW, but currently on the roster, I think they're still on SmackDown. Super Crazy is the only one that's technically only on SmackDown. Maybe Nunzio is. I don't know. Nunzio's Tony Mamaluke and Tajiri are definitely ECW. Yeah, this is a return for Tajiri, right? Because he, yeah, he hasn't been back. In he a hasn't while. been with the company since like the beginning of 05, I think. Or five, yeah. at least. Yeah. No. Also, it, it was crazy that the Italians beat the Japanese guy. Yeah, Japanese and the Mexican guy. Yeah. Yeah. Now the, the Italians really, picking fights with, hate with every ethnicity they can. It's a huge fight. It's a huge win for Italy. This isn't the first time they've been specifically racist towards a different minority group. Um, if you want a recent example, check out the Olympics. <laughs> Hell yeah. Olympics, that's sports. Very, very timely reference, I'm sure. <laughs> In the the time this is yeah. Ever me. since they got rid of Mario and Sonic. But, it's been <laughs> fucked up. And no, what, nothing's been right. Well, hold let, on. let me end this bullshit of a match, because this thing yeah. sucked. And it sucked hard. Finally, fuck you, Chuck. True? Hey, fuck you too, buddy. Seriously, call me. But, uh, <laughs> But yeah, the main event, he comes in. Big show. And that's what I like. A big, tall, strong guy. He starts waddling his way to the ring, looking 
awesome. They got the and camera large. down. Yeah, so large, bro. Dude, it looks like he could lift so much weight. I'm telling hey, you. Chuck, real speech. quick. Yeah. Real quick. Can, can you tell us, was, was his cock moving penisly? Hmm. Hmm. I'd have to go back to the footage and check my notes. All right. Yeah, well, well, Chuck, he's not, he's not gay, but you know. No, I'm not gay. Yeah, I mean, just, just like, no, yeah, I'm you just, got, you just got to inspect. You know? yeah. Yeah. The cock is moving penisly. Exactly. A little bit, a little bit. He's got that thing a lot tighter than um, Randy Orton did. Mm -hmm. But you know, he just comes in, he beats people, he kicks some guys out of the ring, gives a nasty needed to Jerry, looked sick, and he throws out that loser super crazy. Ah, oh, dude, it was the best. He then grabs Tony Luke, just hits him with that knee. Incredible. I mean, this is a true athlete. Just tosses him like he's garbage, like he's nothing. Just fucking nails a big boot right into Big Guido's head. I'm telling you, this, this right here, this is wrestling. This is the greatest thing. And after my heart broke, when Big Sean King broke up, the greatest tag team of all time, it was great to see a W for the big show. I'm saying. Why dude, did Big Show beat up these bad? Yeah, I he just showed up and beat it up. He beat up everybody. He uh, like, doesn't make not. sense because like he's supposed to be an ECW guy too, right? Yeah. So it's like yeah. he, he is, but he's the new big bad heel. Yeah, so he's he killed the all the ECW icons to really uh prove that he is ECW true and true, you know. Yeah. Oh, wantonly yeah. and mercilessly beating Italians is always correct. I'm on his side here. I was just wondering if I missed something. Yeah, he fucking threw that guy. T Tony Mamluk got flown, flown to another. <laughs> he went back to Italy. The yeah. true ragdoll. Hey, you know, I'm just saying, Big Show looked so good. Would he Would Big Show well. be better if his finishing move was back to Italy? Wow. Eh. What would you think? What if What if his name was the Big Freak and instead of choke slamming, he started twerking? Oh. How you feel about that <laughs> Nobody could match no. it, so it'd just be oh, over. God. Let me tell they you. They tap out. I love when people twerk. I just think it's so. Awesome. Speaking of twerking, awesome. speaking of be, Big Freaks, kill a finisher. It'd be like an opposite of Viscera. Hola, Viscera, amigos. And then we pan up, and we got JBL in the crowd. No, not and he's him. here. He goes, ah, ah, ah. Hello, amigos. I'm in New Get York City. And then behind him, me and Chuck were watching, and we're just like, mm -hmm. is that Rey Mysterio hanging out with him? That yeah. dude looked exactly <laughs> like Rey Mysterio. Throw that up on screen, Ty. Haha. -ha. Hey, Ty, I'm making you do work. Fuck you. Ha -ha. Fuck you, Ty. But hey, listen, hey. listen, man. That man was Rey Mysterio. You cannot convince me otherwise. And uh, he even picked his nose a little bit too. Show that on the screen editor, Ty. <laughs> ooh, JBL pretty much says, "Hey Taz, I'm taking your job." Ah, <laughs> and Taz was mad about it for whatever reason. Like, Fuck you, JBL. I'm on ECW now. <laughs> JBL says, "Ah, <laughs> this went like ten minutes." Yeah, there was a lot of dick chants again. Yeah, you suck you, dick. You, yeah. And he then they switched to shut the fuck up, which Peacock did not censor. Oh, no. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I think the biggest problem with this uh, promo by JBL was there's not enough America chant, America stuff. Well, I, no, mean, he's... I love the Fox News. I love how he went into his uh, financial strengths and you know what i'm excited for him to be yeah chunk is a fiscally conservative kind of guy mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> gotta watch the spending oh my <laughs> but yeah I, yeah just i think it's good shit i think it's just such good shit i think my favorite thing is how he tries to correlate ecw fans to watching star trek which yeah. is also it, there's like no crossover there there's well, just, they're on the sci-fi channel. Kind of sci yeah, uh, I, I understand that, right? But like, you could come up with some worse. Like, there's you... definitely some smut on the sci-fi channel. Do you think JBL yeah, doesn't Star know Trek, anything yeah. else? He just heard sci-fi channel and said, "Ah, Star For Trek." Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got Stargate, Stargate Atlantis, Stargate SG One. Oh, Stargate SG One. Help! What was that one? What was that one prank show that they had? Oh shit. I don't know. What's his face? Uh, Tracy Morgan. 
Oh god. Scare I, he had a prank <laughs> show? Scare tactics yeah. that it? No, what was it? Scare tactics? That's what Yeah, Chuck scare said. tactics. Yeah, yeah, scare tactics. That was it. Where he oh, man. they would put people in like horror movie scenarios basically. Yeah. Uh, I love that show, man. I would watch it before Appa- ECW or after whenever it was on. Okay, so apparently it's coming back this year and the Jordan Are Peele set to premiere it. <laughs> oh no. Let's go. This oh, those tight. people are dead. Well, as long as they show me women scared, I'm all in. All right, <laughs> That's Chuck. 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 All right, so I I feel bad for the Smack Up crew having to deal with JBL constantly. Yeah, uh, he'll, 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 I'm hoping he'll rein it in a little bit. Who's you know? worse, Vince or JBL? Vince, oh, Vince, 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 because JB, JBL is working and Vince is true to life. Yeah. Damn. Vince, Vince, did, Vince, was Vince real. doesn't even fucking show up to this. Why would he? Vince doesn't know what ECW is. Yeah. This is true. True. Yeah, just some it, intern. It, just, it's hey, it's we not about harassing women and, and making money and kissing ass. He he wants no part. Oh, ECW is very much about harassing women. It harasses women. women, but it doesn't make money. Yeah, yeah. but Vince oh, isn't man. the one harassing them. That's true. Fair. ECW harasses women in a different way. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. True enough. Uh, a secret third way. So yeah, secret... hopefully they don't have a gimmick where some eighteen-year-old comes out and strips every week. There's definitely that's definitely not going to happen. No shot. So all right, let's get let's me, get JBL out of here. Me and Joe were watching. Uh, we're doing the editing for Judgment Day, and I was I came across Wikipedia. Obviously, it's just all a bunch of phony baloney. And I read that they changed the name of the World Heavyweight Championship to the World Championship because Ray is not a heavyweight. And I laughed really hard. And Joe said, well, no, <laughs> obviously that's not true. And then we were watching it. And I'm like, go back. They said World Heavyweight Champion. They said it's for the World Heavyweight Championship. But tonight did not say that. Oh. ECW yeah, One Night Stand. I, yeah, I don't know why tonight they chose to uh, name Rey Mysterio the World, world Champion, Champion and not the World Heavyweight Championship, even though the the name World Heavyweight Championship is literally fucking on printed and pressed <laughs> onto the fucking piece of metal that I... Rey Mysterio wears across his waist and that he is the champion of and carries. Uh, I still looks like what are we doing here? Why? What are we doing here? <laughs> Why... Look, I understand it's because ah, uh, ah, uh, Eddie, ah, uh, small Mexican guy, ah, uh, he was kind uh, of popular at a different company a decade ago, ah. Uh, uh, Evil Eddie, uh, they, they, they took why? away my heavyweight status, Eddie. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just the world champion, Eddie. Ah, uh, help me. Ah, uh, Eddie. No, uh, you, gotta, you gotta say it like Venom. Eddie. Ah, uh, Eddie. Ah. <laughs> uh. If, if Vince McMahon could turn Eddie Guerrero into a symbiote, he would. <laughs> I mean, technically, he might he be can. the mask. We don't know. Uh, <laughs> we, we will never take off the mask, so we'll never know. Sabu, now is is uh, is the time for the world quote unquote. The world champion. Here, hold up, Ty. Pull up the pull up the 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 picture of world champion Rey Mysterio. There it is. Take a look, y'all. I can't believe they put World Champion on the SmackDown Chiron. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. This is so stupid. <laughs> anyway, Sabu comes out. He starts emoting. With He's got his own steel chair. Next is uh, World Champion Rey Mysterio. He's got... Uh, I don't know if he wore this specific gear while uh, he had his time in ECW, but it is ECW-themed uh, black on red what gear. A, what a pandering bitch, dude. Yeah, his mask says ECW. I mean, he was here. Please don't boo me. He, he was there, Taz says, for about as long as it takes <laughs> to drink a cup of coffee, uh, which he was I mean, until he got picked up by WCW. Most people were there for about as long as it takes to drink a cup of coffee. True. The, <laughs> the, the door at ECW was constantly revolving because it just that was where people went once they lost their job because you didn't need a contract to work there because Paul Heyman was definitely not paying anybody. Do not ask him about, or do not ask Steve Austin about his time at ECW. He was not there. Stop asking. Do not. Yeah, well, Ray Mysterio brings out... huge. <laughs> the belt is huge because Ray is small. 
It's fucking amazing. He literally looks like a, a child in a Halloween costume every time. It's awesome. And it's they also they also it. they also haven't fixed the jewel that's been missing since uh like the build for Judgment Day. Uh, it's cuz they know Batista's going to come back in like 2 weeks and get it anyway. I need that. I need that shit so it's going to hit the sh the streets like crack. Yeah. Oh, wow, no. What are Dave, you talking Dave about? ECW is going to get yeah. it right here. He's Dave Batista, it. if you're listening, we love you. I Dave love Batista. you. Batista. <laughs> We're your faves. Batista. Let me kiss you a little bit. Anyway. Uh, I love you and Blade Batista's favorite 2049, bro. <laughs> uh, the entire time they're trying to announce the match for the championship, Sabu keeps trying to, like, like punk on the uh, Ray. He keeps trying to... Oh, one sec. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Technical uh, difficulties. We'll bro, get Joe, Joe eventually. Joe got sucked into the metaverse. Federal agents at his door? Joe! Joe started talking about ECW, and they had to stop him. They really did? I'll talk about it. So Sabu's the funniest wrestler in the world. Yeah. Because he yeah. cannot hit a single spot without looking like a fucking moron. But that's why he's the GOAT. It is. You might think he's the worst wrestler on Earth because he's bad. I think he's the best wrestler on Earth because he's bad. <laughs> His face is fucked up. The difference yes. is is that he knows he's bad, and he's still getting a check for it. He's getting paid to be a, a fucking freak wrestler piece of shit that goes out there and harms people, and people want that. Like I said, this crowd is bloodthirsty. They don't want good wrestling. They want to watch someone die. I don't know what happened to Sabu. I don't know what fucking hot piece of iron he fell on. To, to do whatever happened to his face because <laughs> he didn't look like that <laughs> he didn't look like that on the the tuesday i mean friday episode just, of smackdown before this he just hit himself with the branding iron to make him feel alive yeah it's the only thing that really wakes him up these days coke don't do it for him anymore this was a good match this was actually a fun match uh, the, uh, up until the end because it was a great match dude because uh, like on paper these guys should have like the greatest match ever and yeah, it, right? was, it was great until we got to the very end. Good they God, kept, yeah. They I mean, they the like fucking chairs of this head. Ray, Ray's chairs, brain is broken by the end of this. His <laughs> they brain were having, is destroyed. Ray's getting cussed on the ground going, the ah, Eddie. Oh. <laughs> I'm concussed, Eddie. Ah, Eddie. Ah, is that you? Eddie, Eddie. Is... Well, Ray, Ray brought it. Ray brought it here in this match because... Yeah. He he had Sabu scouted. Obviously, he was there for a this couple. This is the coffee. first time Ray's been allowed to bring it in the last like month and a half. Good God! How long was this match? Like, like what, fifteen or so minutes? Something like that. I, it felt amazing to see Ray Mysterio, my goat, wrestle. Nine he had Sabu wrestle. scouted. He, yeah, he actually not in the main event. Nah, we we can't we can't have that guy be in the main event. But just a breath of fresh air. Uh, to have Rey Mysterio do some offense. Sabu hits him with a couple air Sabus. Rey Mysterio uh, does his also a triple jump. Like Joey Styles likes to say, he jumps up off the uh, set-up steel chair and hits Sabu with a nasty Hurricane Rana. Um, and just Sabu just keeps throwing the chair literally at Rey's head directly. And the noise, I don't know if they turned it up on the mic, but it was just like a car crash like yeah his his brains are scrambled he might not be there eddie eddie might be down ray doesn't know where he's at because sabu uh then uh while ray is distracted uh with a concussion sabu just flails around he can't even set up a table right <laughs> he's confused on on where the guardrail is and he just keeps like shifting the the table back and forth He's like, all right, cool. I like this table here. And then puts Ray on it and then sets, gets back in the ring and sets up a uh, triple, uh, what is it? Like the, what does he call the it? Triple jump. Call it? Like the triple jump, whatever. Moon triple salt. jump, moonsault. But he didn't hit a moonsault. But moon it's not salt. really a yeah, he didn't... because he, it's going to be like a, just like a leg drop or whatever. But then Ray Mysterio gets out of the way as Sabu is like jumping off of the chair. So Sabu has to stand on the ropes a little bit and then just has to fall over <laughs> because Ray is not anywhere safe for him to be landed on. Yep. <laughs> and Joey Styles is like, oh, he uh, lost his balance. Oh, there was another Sabu's one awesome. where he put the chair up because he wanted to drop his head into the chair. And so Sabu runs off the ropes 
And Ray is on time. He goes, yes. And he drops down for a drop to hold. But Sabu's like, wait a minute. Let me do it again. And so Ray just goes down to the floor, misses. And Sabu <laughs> sets it up again. And Ray has to, like, uh, like just turn into an amoeba and somehow twist his body back around to drop him back onto the chair. Because Sabu fucked up immediately because he cannot stop it messing up beautiful. spots. It's so good. So good. I he think... does eventually... Uh, connect with a triple jump move. Yeah, he but only, gets a, but only gets a two count. <laughs> he smushed Ray's Hold head. Up. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I can't give him that. He literally jumps and like we had to slow it down and watch it three times over. He crushes Ray's head with that. His knees just kill Ray. <laughs> I don't know. It's how, like it's, it's like concussion. the opposite. It's like the opposite of Mr. Perfect saving Chris Jericho from breaking his neck off a of lion salt. He I think Sabu was trying to decapitate Rey Mysterio. Rey's brain was leaking harder than his Great Khali match. It was bad, yep. dude. <clears throat> dude, his and and then his fucking balls start breaking too because <laughs> uh, Rey Mysterio uh, gives Sabu some elbows and then it has him sit in the in the setup chair and then goes out to try and hit him with like a West Coast pop, but Sabu just gets up from the chair and then just walks away. And then Rey Mysterio lands uh like re- like seated on the chair but like the chair is like reversed like how like a gym teacher sits on a steel chair and just just destroy he's grabbing his balls he's grabbing his ass Joey Styles thinks he broke both of his groin muscles it was destructive this for match him. fucking rock yeah <laughs> it was yeah, a fucking train wreck dude it's what, <laughs> it's what I want out of ECW and as Ray was reeling from uh, his balls being broken, Sabu threw the chair at Ray's head again. Again! again. <laughs> awesome. This looks awesome. We're not going to show the clip, but you should go and see it. It's on Daily Motion. Go check it out, viewers. Yeah, look up Ray Mysterio dying. <laughs> Don't look that up. Yeah. No, look up Ray Mysterio killing that guy. Oh, yeah. So, That's... Ray Mysterio did you, did you definitely died here. Talk about this stupid here. fucking table that he set up. Oh, God, oh God. The, and the table, yeah, it's 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 uh, Chekhov's table here because while Ray is dealing with a broken brain and balls, Sabu goes back out to the outside and puts Ray uh, on it, um, and then sets up the chair in the ring again. He goes back for a triple jump DDT. Well, hold on, the table is set up from the ring to the guardrail too, so it's just like it's you not know, just set there, up on the floor; there, it's set up across the fucking world. There's nope. not a there's not a lot of play there's on the outside the of this ring because the Hammerstein Ballroom uh, is maximum capacity is like two thousand six hundred people, maybe. And and they have like five thousand in there right now. Yeah, th- this is like over max capacity, I'm sure. So there's there's maybe four feet of play on all basically all four sides of the ring, and then another four feet down for like the ramp. Yep. Or like the walkway, not even a ramp. It's like, like concrete steps down to the walkway. Uh, there was a, the table spot earlier where Ray hit Sabu with the West Coast pop on a table that was set up down that way, so Ray and Sabu actually had space to fall down. Uh, but this one was just set up between ring to table. I mean, you know how long a wrestling ring is, uh, and the table and that that amount of space. Not a wrestling ring. What am I talking about? You know how long a wrestling table is? And there was huh. less space than that. Long ways. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Sabu uh, goes up and hits the triple jump. Uh, moonsault. DDT. They said moonsault on commentary, but it is just a DDT. Literally not a moonsault. <laughs> but he, he, he does the moonsault thing up until he gets to the top rope. And then lunges at Ray to do a DDT. But Sabu's so stupid... He can't land the right way, so they push the table back more, and then the table barely breaks. So, uh, what happened? They, they yeah, no, so Ray DDT's slid. Through. Yeah, no, Ray slid, pushing the table out from underneath them, and they DDT Ray onto the edge of the table, breaking it at the top corner. And yeah. Ray just took a DDT straight from the fucking air to the floor. Well, they got they got the very last section of the table. Yeah, it was disgusting. <laughs> What a yeah. stupid spot! No, it was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome until uh, the baby voice doctor came out and said, "No, it's over. They can't it's sing over. anymore. It's over." They made, they made it I such agree. a high pitched voice. It's no, over. Listen, this guy is a fucking diva, and we love him. 
this isn't his first appearance either. That is the SmackDown <laughs> the doctor. SmackDown doctor. Teddy, Teddy Long uh, has had to consult with him multiple times. Yeah. Jesus. I, uh, this bit right here was, was like absolutely ridiculous. It, it felt like they just didn't know how to continue end this match, or maybe they Rey Mysterio truly did get hurt here. I don't know. It's certainly possible because Sabu that ain't jobbing, the... brother. Yeah, yeah, they hard they hardcored themselves into a no contest. That that table broke in the dumbest fashion possible. Hey, listen, Sabu landed on his whole fucking. Neck. That's fine. <laughs> what did happen? So Rey Mysterio could have eventually... just walked it off, though. Rey Mysterio, that's like a career-ending uh, injury for him. You know? Yeah, so Rey Mysterio Sabu was... A... Uh, yeah, Sabu's a crazy person. I completely agree. Rey Mysterio is immediately like, taken back by the doctors to the backstage. Sabu is flailing around for about another three minutes on the broadcast, yeah. trying to get up and trying to get back into the ring, but the doctors keep uh, pushing him down to the ground yep. and saying, no, 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 you can't do it, you can't do it. And no, no one, like, helps oh, okay. no one helps Sabu. He's crazy. Can I get a water? Tri- no! He'll, he'll, tri- he'll triple jump himself into the ambulance before he gets yep. help. <laughs> Can I get a water? No, no, don't give him water. We gotta get him some medical attention. Uh, but I gotta say, I was extreme championship entertained here. Yeah, this match rocked. Yeah! Yeah. This this is the most extreme match of the night. <clears throat> SmackDown, SmackDown no. needs to keep their belt. No, I don't Goodness. think this is the most extreme match of the night. No, because no. we're coming up next no. with it. <laughs> no, but like, look, this match, this match, I, I agree with you. They they get bloodier, right? But this is the only one that gets too extreme to the point where it just has to end. I don't know about that. We'll go into it. We'll yell about it. I don't want to spoil it for the people listening. But uh, yeah, that match was awesome. Smack up rules, am I right, fellas? I forgot Rey Mysterio could yeah. would never let ECW yeah. take our belts. It's crazy that that they that they allowed Rey Mysterio to wrestle. One, they Rey Mysterio out. was playing the five D chess. He knew to slide slide the table back into some fat New Yorker's face and probably break his teeth, and then also <laughs> give himself a concussion by taking a DDT straight to the. We concrete. have yet another Rey Mysterio non victory, and we're all here for it. That means it's not a defeat. A defeat. Yep. We've done it. Smack uh, up, so up. Yeah, please let the me. Our cope. champion did not lose. Let's go. <laughs> Next Finally. up, we got we got the six or the oh we don't know the tag team Uh-oh. tag team match. Emerald, tell me about the tag team match. We got the hardcore tag team match up. Now let me talk to you about these fucking PNGs. <laughs> the wrestlers. They're so bad. They're so bit crushed, and then you see uh, Funk. <laughs> Holy shit! He he looks like a stroke victim in his PNG. Be nice He's trying his Funk. best. He's trying be nice his to best. Terry Funk. He's dead. <laughs> All right, oh, listen. Is... Emerald shot on Terry <laughs> Funk <laughs> insanely, <laughs> and now Terry Funk is a stroke victim. <laughs> Yeah. So here's the problem, Emerald. This ain't a tag match. It's a six man tag now. Mixed tag. I uh, know. No, no it's on. it's four man. It's four man. We'll get to that. Six woman. Wow. Um. So uh, we got um uh, Mick Foley. He comes out huge fucking bruise on his left eye <laughs> because uh Terry Funk went to town on it uh, <laughs> not too long ago. With fucking brick punches, and yeah, it's like it's like yellow, it's purple, it's it's gross. Was, and so, if I can interrupt for a moment, I know Martin was at the show, right? The uh, the the fucking Mick Foley show, the stand-up yeah. comedy. Uh huh. Do you remember his bit about Terry Funk? Which one? The one about the punches? Yeah, yeah. He's like, wow, Terry, he's watching footage of VHS tapes when he's training as a wrestler. He's like, wow, Terry Funk's punches, man. That shit looks real. And then he gets into a ring with Terry Funk at probably like, uh, it it was one of the the Japanese wrestling brands that allowed them to go extreme. And he gets punched by Terry Funk and he's like, this motherfucker's just punching people. He's (laughs) actually just punching them. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, and then he goes back into the locker room and is like, Terry, what the fuck? And Terry Funk's like, 
Oh, uh, what, Mick? You thought I was actually good at wrestling? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, Terry just tags people for real. He's Terry Funk rules. Holy Rest shit. In Rest exactly. in That's... peace. And that's why Mick Foley's eye looks like fucking r- ground beef. So <laughs> I have I have some news I heard recently. I heard that Dory Funk Jr. might be having a match this year in oh, honor yeah. of Terry Long Funk. Dog. In, in, in honor of Terry Funk passing away. I don't know when cook. this is happening, but Let I, need him to know. Cook. I need to know when this is happening. I'll I'll look it up and I'll get back to y'all. Alright. Uh, anyway, Mick Foley's out in the ring. He's talking about jive that happened. He apologizes to ECW. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, then he uh, calls in Edge and Lita into into the ring. Uh, they, they play their uh, theme song. Now, as soon as Lita gets across the threshold and starts walking towards the ring... Just these fucking the crowd just like starts reaching out and like touching her. It's like, bro, come on, like don't ECW. don't put EC <laughs> yeah ECW. The they ECW does not respect women. They will just they will just touch them. Uh, uh. So they're all in the crowd. They're talking shit to the crowd. You know, riling them up because you know it's what you got to do. Uh, then Terry Funk and Tommy Dreamer come out. Funk is soaking wet with, I don't know, with water or with his own sweat because he's 61 years old right now, but he is soaked. Uh, and then we got, uh, Tommy Dreamer with his Eastern Island shaped head. (laughs) What is that? Oh my. (laughs) <laughs> Easter Island, you know the the big uh, yeah. the big statues, bro. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Yo. Oh man. god, he just came. <laughs> they put Tommy Dreamer in Spunk Bib. Holy shit! No way. Yeah. yeah. Just just look at his head from the front, and you tell me that thing is not a big rectangle. Under tight. Throw up Tommy Dreamer playing the clarinet. There it is. <laughs> what? The, wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? How am I gonna do that? <laughs> Editor. <don't know. laughs> Uh, you know, it's fun. It's sponge, dude. Come on. Sponge. Tommy Not Dreamer sponge. front shots go crazy. Yo, <laughs> yo, also, Joey Styles calls Tommy Dreamer the heart and soul of ECW. Ty he is. fucking shambles. I was so Do you guys remember <laughs> that time Ty said Tommy Dreamer wasn't an ECW guy, really? I do. The single yeah. worst take that's ever been said on this Ty's program. being proven historically wrong. Get him. No, I'm Get right. He sucks. Ass. He's a bum. I'm not saying Tommy Dreamer's a good wrestler. I'm just saying he is ECW in that he sucks. Eh. And so does ECW. So, uh, they, uh, but Dreamer and Funk have a lady with them. Now, I missed her name completely when they introduced her. Uh, so in my notes, I just have her as the new lady or ECW Emerald- lady. Emerald, please guess what her name is. Bueller. <laughs> You're close. It's Beulah McGillicuddy. Yeah, that's Beulah. That's that's Tommy's Beulah? that's Tommy's wife, if you can believe it. Yep. Oh, that explains some and bits. That, and that, that's why the mating press was so was so intense. So, but um, yeah. So she does not look like a wrestler. She's not. Uh, She's not. <laughs> But she she decides to come up with with the boys and start talking shit to Lita. It's like you know what? Let's make this a three v three, and crowd goes nuts. But uh, Taz and uh, Joey Styles are like, oh, is that a good idea? Beulah, you're not a wrestler. Beulah's out least... here in high heels, by the way. Beulah yeah. shot fucking hard on Lita's life. True. She said, I can't, be- I couldn't believe the day. When whatever comes out of your mouth was worse than what went into it. Uh, oh my goodness. And then the <laughs> crowd gets its seventh She's a Crack Horror chant off at Lita. Yep. Yep. Uh, and then we get into the fight. So it starts off Dreamer versus Edge. Uh, they tussle a little bit, but then Edge is like, 
You went know nah, fuck this. He he gets Foley in, but Foley's like, no, I only want Funk, and and so Dr- Tommy Jim is like, okay, and he gets Funk, and so <laughs> goes over to Funk to tag him in. Funk does not look like he knows where he is. <laughs> he's just lost. <laughs> but then then he's like, oh, that's right, I'm fighting. Um. Everyone is automatically just outside the ring fighting Funk versus Foley, Dreamer versus Edge. I believe Lita and Beulah are uh, going at it uh, off screen. Um, uh, Dreamer shows up to Edge's face and just spews water out of his mouth yeah. into Edge's face. <laughs> he does the Edge. Triple H bit into his face. He does. Into his face. Okay, that uh, that's what I thought it was. Oh, and, <laughs> and it it just get it escalates it escalates quickly. Uh, Funk be- cuts to Funk just hammering Foley in the head like he always does with those brick punches. Uh, and then and then they get out the metal bits. They got uh road signs. They got a full metal trash can, tossing it all into the ring. Uh, they just start hitting everybody. Uh. Edge gets hit in the head. Foley gets hit in the head. Um, <laughs> then Foley gets uh, the reversal on Funk and starts going to town on his head uh, to try and crack open his skull. Uh, and then Edge gets a ladder. I don't remember where he got it. He just had it, and then he just nails Dreamer with it. Uh, Dreamer then uh, flips Edge into the ladder. Uh, then, then Funk grabs the ladder, puts it around his neck, and just starts spinning in the ring like a child. Hits both <laughs> Edge and Foley. Dreamer is like on the ground, like I, 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 I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. What do you I want me to do, man? For that. I, I thought he got nailed by the ladder too. He no, he did. ducked. Like, oh, he okay. ducked and was like, like, like scrunched down to avoid getting hit. Uh, fucking. Uh, then, then Funk sets up the ladder, starts climbing it, and he's at the top. Edge just tips it over, and it land. It, Funk lands right on the uh, in the ring. Ladder on top of him. He is he is he is harmed. He shouldn't be up there. He's Get down from there, old man. <laughs> Get down from he's, there, old man. He's already at the end of it here. Like it's very I, thought, I thought I could hear his bones crunch as he climbed each each yeah, each he, ring. He fell straight on his right hip. Like oh, <laughs> like that would hurt like a normal person of a like young age. Like he, get down from there, old man. What are you doing? Get out of there. You don't need this check. Local old man tries to kill himself. Um, Lita comes in with a save for Edge, and immediately, uh, everyone just starts booing her. ECW <laughs> hates women. Yep. Uh, oh, then, then we get another escalation. Uh, Foley and Edge pull out a giant plywood covered in barbed wire from under the ring, and throw it into the ring, and they just grab dreamer and shove him into it yeah and it, it it goes up it i have so many notes yeah that was uh, crazy they, they, they pick up the wood and they give the 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 barbed wire piece of wood a back body drop onto tommy dreamer yes and then like, they're going to do it again but then funk comes up pulls both of their ankles and it lands on both foley and edge but mostly foley oh, so yeah. foley is now underneath the bar- barbed wire uh, Edge then sends Dreamer into the ringside fence. Uh, and then Funk ends up under the uh, barbed wire board, and then they get more barbed wire out. Funk is bleeding, but then he takes the extra barbed wire, wraps it around his uh, arm, and straight up just cuts uh Funk above his left eye. To, to get that eye for an eye bit because uh, the big bruise he has. Funk is breeding. Ble- bleeding. No, he's, he's, he's breeding. He's breeding, <laughs> dude. Oh. He's breeding. Finally. Somebody's oh, going God. to get bred by the end of this match. No, yeah, no. Mick Foley. Oh, God. Before Mick Foley got, like, thrown into the, like, wood in the corner, 
Dreamer and Funk were bop, 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 trading shots at Foley, like like how uh, Iron Man was getting done dirty with those back shots from the Civil War movie. Yeah, they were fucking. Bop, 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 bop. But yeah, they get Funk out of there because he is he is he is just ah. a, a Red River right now. Uh, and then they get out the barbed wire <laughs> bat. And they go to town on Tommy Dreamer's nuts. And so can I get a chant? No more babies. No more babies. No, no more, more babies. babies. No, no more babies. babies. Yeah. yeah, Dreamer's in pain. You don't know. Don't Funk, Funk been, was also been celibate for years at this point. It's true. And Funk was just yelling, ah, God damn it, my guy. Oh, my God, my eye. Ah. Oh, yeah. God damn oh, yeah. it. So. God damn it. Uh, Foley pulls out the socko. And he uh, gets the mandible sock and puts it into uh, Beulah's mouth. Mm-hmm. Uh, gets her off the the ringside. Why did then he it goes to Dreamer like this, bro. Come on, yeah. she, she's not even a wrestler. But she was there, and she got. And she involved herself. Yeah, they that's what happens. I guess. Yeah, would you say she was asking for it, Emerald? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no, no comment. No oh comment. My God. Getting Beulah Beulah. a paycheck definitely must have been one of, like, the backstage stipulations that Tommy Dreamer had for Paul Heyman. Mm -hmm. Uh, Or else he might have pretended to try uh, and kill him again. Hey, Paul, can I get my wife on the show? Yeah, but you have to be cucked first. Okay, Paul, no problem. I love you, Paul. I miss you, Paul. Oh, come on. Guys, do you know Tommy Dreamer begged to get cucked? Yeah, you're right, my bad. So, after Dreamer gets socked in the mouth... Edge gets a hold of Beulah, and I don't want to. I don't want to, but he does some sus stuff. In like, if you look at it at the 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 angle that they were showing, it looks real bad. I don't want to say, but let's just say Beulah was getting violated. The back shots were devious. Yeah. The back shots were devious. Uh, let's see. Oh, and it culminates with a mating press, bro. Then Funk shows back up. All bandaged up, eye fully covered, and he's just holding a two by four covered in barbed wire. Uh, as as he's coming back from the crowd, uh, uh, Edge and Foley are really distracted. So Dreamer gets the double uh, nut punch on both of them, gets him down. Funk comes in swinging that stick. Uh, he beats both Foley and Edge up with it. And I'm like, okay, yeah, it's got to be over now. Why isn't it over? Why hasn't nobody uh, won? Then they set the 2 by 4 on fire. Mm-hmm. And he starts wailing on Foley. We have with to go a... beyond extreme now. We've beyond gone extreme. extreme. Mm-hmm. Yep, they, they've stolen the flaming cockpit. <laughs> uh, gets sent out of the ring into more barbed wire... And and uh, they they have to bring out the fire extinguishers to hit Foley with them because he was just on fire. <laughs> Can't have that. Um, Edge then punches Funk on top of Foley into the barbed wire board that was outside the ring. Mm-hmm. Dreamer gets Dreamer gets the drop on Edge, uh, chokes him out with the wire a bit. Lita comes in with the save. Uh, Beulah attacks Lita. Cat fight is declared. Uh, by by the announcers, and Joe so there. Jo- Joe, uh, Taz was in there too. He's like cat yeah. fight. But uh, th- that was Joey Styles who went like cat fight, cat fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's true. Uh, Dreamer then drops Lita. Uh, Ed Edge gets the drop on Dreamer with the wire, and then he full on spears Beulah, and <laughs> everyone was like, oh. They shouldn't have done that. She's just she's the frail little lady. And then it can only be described as the mating press pin uh, on Tabula and uh, one, two, three in a very awful display. Uh, Raw, Raw takes it. WWE has uh, declared themselves as the most hardcore leave against it, ECW. Leave it to Raw to beat a woman in order to win. Yeah, yeah but Hey, Beat and it violate off. a woman. Rated all superstar. I'm glad Nico isn't here to see this. Yeah, he'd be so depressed and sad about it. Uh, but I fucking loved this match. It was the greatest hardcore match of all time. 
Terry Funk is still in the barbed wire. Nobody oh is helping. God. Him. He is dying. And like, someone help Funk. Someone help Funk. He, help me. Ah, uh, help me. They, they, he's cut me so out. stuck in the barbed wire. They have to cut his it up bicep was so purple from the fucking so cut. So bad. It was this so... old man. Why does he keep doing this to himself? He fucking does loves he like it, bro. Yes, love he the game. The payment, or does he, he is... like the blood? Benny, this this is one of the most legendary. Benny. Benny's not here. There's no spirit squad. Thank thank Chuck God, the know. spirit squad is. I, I, I wish Nico, the spirit squad would have gotten extreme. When did Nico get here? Huh? Nico, get back in your get... hole. Chuck, kick him out of here. Chuck, get him out. I got rid of him. I got him away, Chuck. I got Ch him. Chuck, take his balls. Oh. Oh, fuck. He just killed Nico. Oh, my. <laughs> Terry <sighs> Funk versus Mick Foley is one of the greatest wrestling love stories of all time. Oh, it's so beautiful, bro. I, Terry just, Funk what? versus wrestling is the most beautiful wrestling <laughs> story of all time. <laughs> Listen, love bro. can blossom on the battlefield. The last Terry Funk match was in 2017. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. The Funk How old was he? Uh, let's see. I'll, I'll look it up. It'll be 61 plus 11. 72? 72 years old. <laughs> well, at least he made it to 69. Nice, 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 nice. He nice. made it to 79. Yeah! Oh, I love that number, bro. Yeah! Yeah! But nah, man. This was awesome. I mean, yeah. Mick had Socko. I love Socko. The drama. Terry Funk bleeding like a stuck pig. Tommy Dreamer doing what he does best and getting his ass kicked. This was ECW. But you know what was kind of weird? Yeah. What? Edge really didn't get that, like, hurt by any of those main big spots. Like, he kind of avoided most of the actual, like, hardcore spots. Yeah, like he does all the time. <laughs> yeah, but at least with uh, the WrestleMania match, he, he took a few. Did we? But Did it, you... It's almost like he was in good condition did you bring up the pinfall that happened oh yes. yeah so yeah, that was one of the most so sensual <laughs> edge speared beulah and fucking humped the shit out of beulah yeah. to yeah, the rhythm you about said that about it. i'm so yeah. sorry I, I got so blindsided because i wanted to see uh terry funk getting out of that fucking hole man that little barbed wire yeah. hole like it was straight up so just Tom, tommy press. dreamer got fucking cucked so badly this match I, I would be yeah. embarrassed to even show up like on ECW again after that. That was bad for yeah, the was ECW guy. For the ECW guy, he did not look his very uh, good in that. Yeah. No. Be but... Being an ECW guy means uh, forsaking your like morality and morals and self worth for uh, under Check. market value. Edge doggied her and missionaried her. <laughs> And Speaking Tommy had a watch. Sacrificing your self worth for monetary value that is very much under the going rate. Balls Mahoney shows up to have a match. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll go through that real quick. Yeah, Balls Mahoney's here. And you're like, Balls. oh, great. And then you're like, well, who the fuck's going to fight this piece of shit? Oh, it's Masato Tanaka. Awesome. He's back. He's still bandaged up from last year from when he had to fight Mike Awesome. This is not that match. Mike Awesome. Masato Tanaka, one of the best matches of all time. One of the craziest shit you'll ever see. Go watch One Night Stand 2005. Unfortunately, Balls Mahoney is not Mike Awesome. So all they do is just jaw jack in the ring. All they do is punch each other. Tanaka does a little big dive. They don't really care until they get the chairs into the ring. They start doing a little sword fight with the chairs. The crowd's going nuts for this shit. And then one chair shot. It might have been a crazy chair shot because it did dent the fucking chair altogether. But that's all it took to kill Masato Tanaka, the fucking guy who couldn't be killed in the last last year. One chair shot, he's dead. Five minutes. Balls Mahoney wins. Yeah, Tanaka this just was, can't handle balls. This was this was rough, man. I will not handle Tanaka slander. Tanaka is too good for this. Deserves, Tanaka shouldn't have better. lost. Look, it was just... You know, balls, man. Look, balls. How can Mahoney you compete with balls, dude? Is, yeah, he's an ECW legend. He hits people with the chair. ECW I mean, legend. ECW. Pick one. <laughs> and 
Yeah, man, but he just, uh, dude, he just, you know, he swing, and instead of a miss, he hit. This, and you know what? The better man won. This show was on such a high, because he had that really good Extreme Rules match, really good fucking... And now we're on the come down. Oh, hold on. We're going to get... It hold only on. gets worse from here. He had the really good match with Rey Mysterio and Sabu. We had the really good match, the six-man tag, but then we had Balls Mahoney Tanaka, and even worse than that... Eugene comes out and the crowd is pissed. And oh, Eugene grabs it. We do get RVD shitting his pants full of doo. Yes, of yeah, course. We, yes. We get a flashback of RVD shitting his pants full of doo doo. Yeah, we thought we, we really thought that the the championship match was gonna happen. They're all saying, "Get ready for Rob." Oh, it's Eugene. What's he doing here? The crowd hates him. Fucking Eugene gets on the mic. Goes, "I love." ECW, the crowd said, "Fuck you, Eugene." Which I mean, honestly, fuck Nick Dinsmore. We were right from the beginning. The mentally challenged. Fuck Nick Dinsmore. The crowd was right on this. He's clearly doing it for the mentally challenged community, man. It's not for like any type of gain or like monetary, you know, worth. Hey, how many ECW fans do you think are white supremacists? Too many. Yeah, I don't believe how, that. How many, how many people are in the building? I think it says 2,400. How many people live in New York? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So, Eugene's here, and he starts saying how much he loves ECW. The crowd's pissed, and you're thinking, what the fuck are they doing with Eugene? And He's got Sandman. Smiley face no, no, sport, bro. He, no, hold on. You can't, you can't just get to Sandman. Come oh, on. I'm sorry. He wrote a poem. Oh, okay. He wrote a poem. And he pulls it out and he reads it. I, I have it written here. ECW, the place to be. I love Terry Funk and RVD. Stevie Richards makes me howl. When I take a bath, I want to use Taz's towel. ECW is not phony. I want to hug Balls Mahoney. I want to hug all of you. And now I want a picnic with Sabu. Oh my. He also says that his uncle Eric Bischoff told him that he's just as smart as any ECW fan. True. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> what a legend. And Eric. then the crowd starts chanting, shut the fuck up. And he just he frowns and says, but I want to hug all of you. What I want to hug you guys. The and same he comes the crowd, I want to hug you. I want to hug you. I'm gonna hug you, and then he points up, and then he sees. Da, 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 da. There he is. His shitty fucking theme. It's not <laughs> Inner Sandman. They can't. They couldn't get Inner Sandman for that one. Uh, they'll, they'll never get Inner Sandman. Sandman got so fucking drunk on the way to the ring, and he's busting his head open. He's bleeding profusely. This I, is the live look at every New Yorker's home life when they were a kid, basically. Gets in the ring. He looks at Eugene. Like disappointingly, I don't know what the fuck. And Eugene's like, "Hello," and then <laughs> he gets fucking killed with the cane. This he fucking sucks. This fucking sucks, dude. Wow, what a fucking sour note. I don't almost he like he drives me. him. He drives him out of the ring through the entrance ramp, and then is just standing there emoting. Yep, sounds about right. That is definitely me when a fourth beer has hit my forehead. It's so real. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I got halfway through this poem and then just started smashing that plus 10 uh, button. This is your plus 10 segment of the night. And then I saw Sandman that I just kept fast forwarding until the <laughs> RVD match. That's fair. That's fair. I'm not going to be mad about it. But I'm going to have to pass yeah, it off to the real to main, the main event. event the main right? event, Marty. Yeah. But, but I want to just clarify... Anybody know how much time is left for for this main event? Because like, holy minutes. fuck! It was half an hour on the timeline. Don't worry, I took note of that. All right. Yeah. Which the match only goes twenty forty five. So for an RVD match, all things considered, yeah, it's tolerable. He still gets his Triple H of ECW <laughs> tagline from me. So yeah. It's time for your main event. Woo! Woo! Raw, Woo! of course, as per usual, getting top billing on any uh, multi-show card, because what the fuck else are you going to watch? 
certainly the one Vince McMahon knows about. So RVD comes out. And he's like, hello, I am Rob Van Dam. Love me, please. And the crowd agrees. Yeah! Um, it comes out to powerful booze. The, this is my second His entrance is, goes so damn hard, though. Oh, yeah. No, it's great. My second note here to Pete's point is I see the timeline. We're getting another RVD match that goes too long. Yep. <laughs> So Cena starts throwing his hat and his shirt back into the crowd, and the crowd starts throwing it back every time. Some of these guys have pretty good arms; like they're hitting the ropes with it. They're they're really getting them when they're throwing the shirt back. Mm-hmm. Somebody has a wadded up piece of paper and hits RVD right in the head with it. People just start throwing toilet paper into the ring, like a That's lot it. of toilet paper. As they're locking up, the bell has rung. There's just toilet paper flying. Empty beer cups. Yeah, empty beer cups. It's pretty cool. I understand why you can't do this, but people should be allowed to throw things at sporting events. But I'm saying that shows. this is the last true bastion of like a, a, a of entering the fucking Roman Coliseum and watching those fuckers kill each other. Absolutely. Like, yeah, let's fucking throw shit in there. My refuse and detritus was meant to be thrown at a guy getting dropped on his head. That's what I'm saying, Absolutely. Bro. There has never been a single time where people throwing things at a sporting event has gone wrong. Ever. It's true. Anyway. You can quote us on it. Oh, yeah. No, you will never find one where it went bad in a way that somebody didn't deserve. <laughs> so, now the actual wrestling starts. Cena backs for RVD into the corner, hits some strikes, go for a, goes for a suplex. The crowd starts chanting, you can't wrestle. And we start establishing the central theme of this match, which is RVD and Cena have a little back and forth for a minute. Somebody hits a move, and then they emote to the crowd, who, if it is RVD that has hit the move, they are very excited. If John Cena has hit the move... They just start booing, calling him a pussy, and saying he can't wrestle. Same old shit. Same old shit. Or that. Yeah. So there's not a whole lot that happens this match. It's a lot of preening to the crowd. This match is basically John Cena versus Phil at Money in the Bank. <laughs> Except this one's actually good. So, our, so they get nose to nose. We get another John Cena might kiss somebody spot. I'm sick of this. They've been edging me for months. He better <laughs> fucking do it. It's true. At some point. We know that the thing is, is that John Cena gets his powers from not kissing and not fucking. So the moment he does kiss someone, it's over. It's true. It's a jover. Then we're waiting. I guess then the month before Brock Lesnar killed him at SummerSlam in the future that I think might happen. He must have kissed somebody. We're going to find yeah. out. We'll get there. So they get nose to nose. Strike exchange. Now they're back and forth. Cena power slams RVD. Close lines on the outside. We get a same old shit chant. So John Cena in response goes to the top rope. Hits an elbow drop onto RVD outside of the ring. And gets a you still suck chant for this. Which I disagree. I thought it looked really good. Very He's... unlike Cena. It's really, it's cool to watch him try to branch out and please this crowd, even though they don't fucking deserve it at all. No, As they stares not. down the crowd, and then they shift from uh, You Still Suck to Cena Sucks Cock, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. The only one Cena got oh, was impressing with his newer uh, bolder moves was Taz. You gotta appreciate that someone was giving him credit. Yeah. I certainly wasn't. <laughs> Get to a walk and brawl on the outside. RVD decides to hit a moonsault off of the stairs just for fun. Uh, John Cena fights back, whips Rob Van Dam into a cameraman who tumbles and dies. And they just stick on his shot for a while as you just see this man fall over and then hit the ground. RVD gets thrown into the crowd, fight through the crowd. Somebody has a fuck you Cena sign and... Cena puts it up against RVD's face and just punches through it. That was awesome. Then they throw RVD back to the ringside. More fighting. RVD hangs Cena up on the barricade. Corkscrew leg drop. Throws him back into the ring. Chair-assisted baseball slide for two. Uh, John Cena now in a coma. 
gets a rolling thunder hit on him with the chair, but still manages to kick it too. The crowd is in shambles. Body slam, another chair. We get a split legged moonsault. Cena gets the knees up and answers with a pretty solid DDT. Again, Cena pulling things out that he does not normally do. John Cena, now fed up, decides to take matters into his own hands. Gets a the same fucked up chair they've been using for the past few spots. It is barely holding together. Uh, sets the chair up into the ropes. Throws RVD headfirst into it. RVD smashes his head right through it. He really go. He really full sends onto this chair. And we get back into the pattern of for a long time, just somebody hits a move, emotes, do another move, emote, etc. Uh, pick back up again. Cena goes for the you can't see me, hits the five knuckle shuffle, salutes the corpse of Rob Van Dam, sets up for the AA, but Rob RVD wiggles out, hits an Enziguri, goes top rope, Cena meets him up there, slams him off of it for two. Crowd starts chanting, die Cena, die. Oh my god. Oh, they became rabid after this sequence because Cena was really like cheesing it here. You know, this was like when he, he when he entered the two of the five moves of Doom. He hit the Rizzler, dude. He was hitting the fucking movies just hitting his fucking chin. You know, he's like ah ha ha. He starts stancing up a little bit. Mewing towards the audience. The audience is fucking not having he's it. He's putting the finger up going shh. Yeah. Shh. Yeah, Cena's <laughs> feeling himself kinda got me quaking. To be honest, here I'm saying they need to let lie. the reins off of Cena more, dude. Let him cook. Yeah, you know I I can feel it. I think John Cena is gonna turn heel. I oh, can feel it. yeah, yeah, we're so yeah, close yeah. right that's now. Gonna, that's gonna happen real soon. It's gonna. Oh happen. yeah, absolutely. It's gonna be so cool too. So John Cena misses a strike, and then we get a spot that gets fucked up. The crowd blames John Cena because they chant Cena fucked up, but I don't think this is true. They're trying to do something where RVD sets Cena up on the rope, but John Cena is a very large man, and RVD tries to deadlift him and just can't, like, quite get him. Wherever it is they're trying. Also, 100% is, like, way too high to be doing this. Oh, yeah. So, they just, he just struggles to get Cena onto the rope and eventually just say, fuck it. And the end result of this is basically John Cena just gets punched off of the apron. And the crowd just starts chanting, Cena fucked up, which I don't think is the actual case here, but whatever. Uh, So, RVD gets a table, sets it up in the corner against the ropes. Remember this table, it's lore important. Comes back in, uh, Cena hits a drop toe hold into the STFU. Somebody holds up a sign that says, I heart memes, M-E-E-M-S. Uh, editor Ty, if you can throw a lol cat up here. There it is. Thank you. That's a neon that cat, so dude. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah god damn, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, fuck. Uh, uh, what about uh, Epic Baby? Oh. Yeah. All right. Oh, shit. What about the kid that goes, yes? Yeah, that's <laughs> Epic Baby. Is that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Listen. I don't know if they're if we're ready for a bad luck <laughs> Brian yet, but oh man, this is, this there is it is, Slowpoke, dude. No, oh no, it's bad luck Brian. No, he has the hat. Cena can has cheeseburger. <laughs> Joe, you have to make that. Up. <laughs> Let us know. Let us know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share. Question of the week: Can John Cena has cheeseburger? Post your favorite meme in the comments. We below. need to run a poll on the the account. Um, for all our, make sure you subscribe so you can vote in the poll. Can we get a Can we get an Emerald's favorite meme of the night, please, real quick? My favorite meme? Yeah. Like of all time? Yeah. Well, uh, this specific night, you it, know. Get, give me a minute. Just tonight, like if you, one that comes to the top of your head. Yeah, right, right now. now. Tonight. When you're I say in 2006, media. you're watching WWE One Night Stand. You, see you saw the I has memes sign. I guess yeah. it's Slowpoke saying, oh my god, there was a second plane. Dude, there it is. <laughs> That's yeah, on there screen. He is. Why did we put wow. that on screen? <laughs> Alright. Second question of the week. What are your thoughts on 9-11? Drop in the comments below. Yep. Like... Like, I'm gonna make the algorithm hit, the, <laughs> make the little the shiny whole, like button. Like, I like, have like. Whole video on it. 
All right, Chuck's going to make a video on 9-11. You heard it here first. And I'll tell you, that shit's so cash. <laughs> make sure you're subscribed, because every time we say the word subscribe, it, it the, the little button below the YouTube yeah! video should put up. That's what I'm saying. Is 9-11 cringe or based? At 17 patrons, we'll let you know. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway. Uh, where the fuck am I here? Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Our op Van Dam is in this STFU. He gets to the ropes. Cena doesn't let go for a while. And the ref starts to be like, man, come the fuck on. Let him go. You bitch. I hate you. And then Cena and the ref start shoving each other. And then John Cena just clotheslines the shit out of this ref. He proves how extreme he is in this moment. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. Again, when John Cena definitely turns heel very soon, oh, I think you'll see so more cool. of this. It'll be so but earned. As somebody who has never seen that, this was rad in 2006. So the ref is dead. Cena crotches RVD on the top rope, hits a superplex. Cena goes to the outside, hits Rob Van Dam with the stairs, and then... He hucks the stairs out of the ring with the loudest clatter I have ever heard. Yeah. I don't know what happened, but these stairs really fucking did a tumble and start clattered around on the outside. Well, we won't find out until later in the, the lore of wrestling that the stairs are actually 80 quintillion tons heavy. <laughs> yep. Yes, they smashed right through the Hammerstein ballroom. Yeah, and it shut everybody the fuck up. And now SmackDown referee Nick Patrick comes in, and he counts two. And Cena goes for the, and Cena's mad. John Cena goes for the AA. Uh, Rob Van Dam just grabs the ropes, and is then Cena just kind of dumps him onto the outside. But so Cena's turned around back in the ring, and now there's somebody in a trench coat and a motorcycle helmet in the ring. What the fuck? And if you remember Chekhov's table that got set up in the corner, it was lore important. This cre this person in the helmet runs at Cena, spears him through this table in the corner, and then kills Nick Patrick for unknown reasons. And stares at the camera with the helmet, takes it off. It's Edge. What the fuck? Oh, God, so that son of a bitch. Edge oh, looking it. hot as hell, by the way. That hair, man. Uh, it, listen, the Edge this whole show, this is the best Edge has, like, ever looked. Like, just as a character that we've seen. Mm -hmm. Man, if I was X year old in 2006, I'd be all about this. Edge is as X slut. years old in current year, I know I'm all about this. The crowd didn't know how to react. They were like, yeah, what? Eh, yeah, well, uh, huh? Then they yeah, start chanting, mixed. thank you, then Edge. Then they start chanting, thank you, Edge, at him. Yeah, yeah. And so, Rob Van Dam comes in, just, as Edge is just leaving through the crowd, and just, like, kind of staring at him, like, huh, okay, cool, I guess. And hits the five-star frog splash onto John Cena's corpse. Comes over to Nick Patrick, tries to resuscitate him. It's not successful. Then, the Penguin himself, Paul Heyman, <laughs> runs in, mm -hmm. counts the three, the bell rings. Rob Van Dam is your new ECW champion. They can announce him as the ECW champion, folks. Wow. I and was enjoying that match up until that point. Hold on here. Can uh, can somebody do like a little like phone call ring? Ring bring bring. Hey, it's Vince McMahon here. What's uh what's up? Hello. You lost your uh, belt, you dumb bitch. Wait, what, what are you talking about? Who, who, who's the champ right now? John Cena, right? Uh, RVD. John Cena. What? Yeah. What? Yeah, he just gave it to Paul Heyman. This Isn't bullshit. That... What are you talking about? That's my belt. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Buy click, another one. Click. Click. <laughs> I guess Raw just yeah. lost their fucking championship belt. Yeah. And their champion. No, it's fine. They'll, they'll we'll see how it another. turns out. We'll what? figure it out. Click. You know what? No. My the ending was lackluster of this match, though, I gotta say. If Paul Heyman yeah. came down in a fucking ref outfit, it would have been a 10 out of 10 match. Yeah. I, it definitely... 
um, Edge kind of coming on and doing it took some of the wind out of it, but I still like, think it was the best match of the night. I think this goes better if we don't get the I'm going to stare at Edge and then try to revive Nick Patrick. I think Edge comes in, spears Cena, and then we just cut to RVD, who is on the top rope currently, hits the frog splash, Paul Heyman runs out immediately. Mm-hmm. It's a little better. It's just a little bit more wind between edge yeah. and then the bell yeah. i agree too much downtime from when i just spears him to the hit but this Agreed. also i think mocks cena's weakest moment that we've seen well, yeah because he was down for a while so this was like a big victory because like anytime cena's laying down for more than like four seconds i mean he's kicking out there's plot there's plot relevance here mm-hmm. but as always you know, Cena can't just lose his championship. He has to die by other means. No, yeah. it's never a clean loss. Well, this but... is why Rob Van Dam wanted the match <laughs> here at the Hammerstein Ballroom in ECW. Home field advantage is important. It, he it said, was the I same, want a fair it was the match. same type attack bonus. I want a fair match, and then Edge kills him, and he's like, All right. Sick. <laughs> yeah, Edge yeah. fucking ruined it for me, but I know why he did it. Because he hates it. Yeah, but at least, well, yes. But, but it, yeah. RVD so, is not a dumbass. Because yeah. he will just take the W where he can get it. And I appreciate that. He has no honor. Yes, but now that like him. the belt is now in ECW's possession, Cena is no longer the champion. Triple H can stop complaining and being a baby about not being the champion. Oh, now, he still will. <laughs> now he can just get harassed no, by the Spirit Vince, Squad. Vince has to get a new belt and a new champion has to be made. So therefore, Edge is like, I can now be the champion because we need a new champion for Raw. We'll see Open what happens season. tomorrow, dude. Well, oh yeah, Raw Raw's on tomorrow after after this big show. What day is it? Speaking is of a big Sunday. show, huh? Well, well, big show hits the ring by himself angrily. Rob Van Dam leaves through the crowd, goes up to celebrate on the balcony with his wife, and also Ray Mysterio guy. Oh, Ray Mysterio him. guy is crazy. Just Why do we watch. keep finding Ray Mysterio yeah, related just objects to in the crowd? Because like, I feel like we we're we're finding like a horcrux of Ray Mysterio every yeah. time. We've got Yossified Black Ray Mysterio. We've gotten White Ray Mysterio. Now we have actual Ray Mysterio. Well, we also and, have and Cryptid Ray. Yeah, the Cryptid Ray Mysterio. Cryptid Ray. I forgot about Cryptid Ray. <laughs> yeah, Cryptid Ray Mysterio. There were at least four kinds of Ray Mysterios in the crowd. One of whom is a real guy. They're really if setting up Survivor Series this year. Guy at One Night Stand 06. Uh, like the and subscribe. Fucking... You gotta get your picture below. taken. You gotta get your picture taken with all the Rey Mysterios and you get the golden <laughs> Rey Mysterio Funko Pop. Oh, sick. That's how they it's do like, it. Yeah. The different version of Rey Mysterio is our hidden Mickey. <laughs> we gotta just keep searching for more Rey Mysterio uh, plots in the crowd. Yeah. Where's where's Vince Rey Mysterio? <laughs> we'll never find it's that one. Know who Rey Mysterio He's is. not He's up not here. Him, He's down there. Uh, so RVD celebrates with his wife, not his current wife, who also has a wife or whatever. And so he other had a ECW wife before that one. <laughs> other ECW originals have now hit the ring with the Big Show, and RVD makes his way back to celebrate. And Big Show, who killed other ECW guys for no apparent reason, and also ran out here in a huff after RVD won, is now like, oh, okay, cool, we're all friends now. And picks up RVD on his shoulder, and they all celebrate. So part of I guess... me thinks, part of me thinks that Vince like decided, like, yeah, we need Big Show to be the, to be the, to be extreme now, just so we can have somebody out there to pick up RVD. Yeah, yeah, because we had nobody else. No, but Big Guido could have done it. Yeah, but do you think Big Guido is an actually like big guy shape to do it? Probably not. You're right. He's like Batista. He's got show muscles. Yeah. Muscles. Show muscles that explode, and then you need penis surgery. 
<laughs> Absolutely. So yeah, but see, because Batista pushes himself beyond his limit, that's how his yep. penis explodes. This, he goes plus ultra, and his penis it, explodes. Big, <laughs> big, big Guido can't can't push beyond. So he'll just no. look huge, but he won't have his penis explode either. This is yeah. a big deal because now John Cena was the longest reigning champ up to this point, and now Gregory Helms is the longest reigning current champ. As the cruiserweight wow. champion says, yeah, Royal have, Rumble. Have fun with that, Ashley. SmackDown by the way. wins again. SmackDown wins again. A very we're undefeated, <laughs> baby. We're undefeated. <laughs> Can't be stopped. I appreciate it. This was a little soft launch for Extremely Sideways, and we'll see you in the next ECW show, guys. Right? Hello. Ba-dum, yeah. Ba-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum. You- <laughs> Where we're gonna be there for it. Yeah, I'm never watching ECW again. Yeah. Well, we wrong. Get a belt. Love this show. Well, ECW Freddy exists. And I will never appear on that show. That is a promise. Fair enough. I will say this episode was not bad. Proud, awful, and horrendous. But there was no Vince McMahon. There was no Shane McMahon. There was no Spirit Squad. There was no Carlito. There was no was Jesus. No There's no Chris Masters. <laughs> There was no Christmas. And for that. I was Kane. The main picture on Peacock, he wasn't even. No, that was a different. The no, that was we a... had stroke victim Kane here. That was a different one. Up. That was a different one. Uh, that was a different uh, po- uh, poster. They just fucked it up on Peacock because it's Peacock. <sighs> Good night, everybody. Stroke, wow. stroke victim. We'll see stroke you in victim. Raw. Isn't, isn't, isn't that what they call Beulah McGillicuddy? God. That's what I'm saying. <laughs>